Number 10. Three-Eyed Pig Today, we're going to be looking at some pretty disturbing creatures recently discovered, and the three-eyed piglet is definitely one of the weirder ones. As reported by the Science Times, this mutant pig was born with two heads and three eyes, right in the middle of this worldwide pandemic. Whether the pandemic had anything to do with the deformity of the pig is undetermined, but it's pretty odd coincidence. The farmer who witnessed the three-eyed pig's birth said it was nothing like anything he had ever seen before. However, nobody took the mutated pig as a bad sign. The farmer and his family actually believed that the pig with its extra head and extra eye was a lucky charm. That was until it died four days later after its birth. Supposedly, the pig was too weak because of its deformities and died a natural death. Even though the farmer did everything he could to keep his lucky charm alive, the piglet still perished. The name of the pig's condition is polycephaly, and it's actually a rare condition in which an animal is born with two heads. This can happen to any animal, be it a pig, lizard, or human. In 2007, there was supposedly a lizard fossil that was dated back 120 million years, and that was the earliest known example of multi-headed animals. Number 9. Rat-Frog-Bat Hybrid This next creature is definitely the ugliest one I'm going to tell you about. It's also the biggest freak of nature. Nobody knows exactly what this thing is, but it appears to be a strange hybrid of a rat, a frog, and a bat. Scientists are boggled, and no experts have come forth to declare what this weird thing is. However, it has reportedly shown up in both China and Argentina. That means whatever it is, it lives in several different parts of the world. After all, China and Argentina are about as far from each other as any two countries can be. But it leaves a lot of questions. What is it? Why is it being found now in two different parts of the world? And just where did they come from? The creatures can apparently fly, crawl, and swim. They almost look like humanoids, but they are way too creepy and scary. These monsters are likely just weird bats, but we simply can't know for sure. They were discovered in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, so maybe after everything has cooled down there will be an investigation and scientists can tell us just what this creepy creature really is. Number 8. Gollum Gollum has been spotted. That's right, I'm talking about Gollum from the Lord of the Rings movies. A terrifying being was spotted in the hills of China, hanging out near some caves, and it looked a lot like the creepy beast that led Frodo and Sam into Mordor. According to Metro News, it was spotted by an unnamed Chinese tourist who was camping with his friends north of Beijing. The creature was hairless, flesh-coloured, and had large elf-like ears. It was seen squatting on a rock in front of what might have been a cave. It also appeared to be wearing a loincloth made of leaves. The tourist managed to snap a few pictures before running away, which they then posted on social media. Unsurprisingly, most people dismissed the pictures as some kind of hoax, but apparently it wasn't a hoax at all. The disturbing creature was actually an actor who had been filming a sci-fi film in the mountains and scuttled off into the bushes to take a pee break. That was when the tourist spotted him and freaked out. So, it wasn't Gollum. It was just an actor in a weird costume peeing on a rock. Talk about an invasion of privacy. Number 7. Chupacabra A farmer in the Ukraine has recently killed the Chupacabra with a pitchfork. At least, that's what he claims. The creature had apparently been terrorizing local livestock for months, leaving behind corpses drained of blood. And then one day, the farmer spotted the beast, ran at it, and stabbed it to death with a pitchfork like some kind of medieval lunatic. According to the reports from Express News, national wildlife experts are currently busy studying the dead beast, but have yet to identify what it really is. The Ukrainian farmer who confronted what is now being referred to as a vampire animal found the thing stalking his animals inside his barn in the night when he made his attack. As you can see from the images of this monster, it looks very much like some kind of vampire thing. Some experts say it resembles an African fox, but its teeth are too long. As of now, the animal does not fit the description of any known species. To make things worse, the local farmers claim there was not just one chupacabra terrorizing the livestock, but two. One eyewitness even claimed that the second chupacabra, which has yet to be caught, resembled something like a kangaroo when he saw it running away from his property. Number 6. Cat and Human Hybrid In another disturbing story, a tiny cat-like creature with the head of a human has been discovered in Malaysia, and rumour has it that the police have been trying to shut down the story. According to local sources, police officers have been forced to deny the existence of the animal, even though photographs and videos are already circulating of it online. The clips that you can find on the internet were allegedly filmed in a rural area of Western Malaysia. 
The creature in question looks something like out of your worst nightmares. The creature has pink skin, kind of like a baby, four limbs and a tiny tail, and a head that is unmistakably human. At least, except for its incredibly pointy vampire teeth and its thin black hair. It looks like a true abomination. And to make things worse, nobody knows where it came from, how many of them there are, or where the unnatural thing is now. As for the police, they have claimed that no sightings of the creature have been reported and that the pictures are actually of a silicon baby werewolf toy that can be found for sale online. And lo and behold, a quick search revealed that this exact creature is indeed for sale on Etsy for a staggering $2,500. It even has almost 400 positive reviews. So, it looks like it was all a hoax after all. Number 5. Frogzilla A Texas man has found one of the largest giant bullfrogs ever. And while people online have been debating whether the photo of this guy holding up what appears to be a frog nearly the size of a dog is fake, it turns out it's actually a matter of perspective. The South Texas Hunting Association posted the photo of Frogzilla on social media just recently, claiming it was discovered in a fishing pond at a South Texas ranch. Also, the bullfrog apparently weighed 13 pounds. This is one of those monster frogs that could probably hop straight over your head. It looks like an absolute freak of nature. But even though the frog is real, there are still some issues. Firstly, the picture is obviously an optical illusion. The guy's holding the frog out in front of him so it looks way bigger in the photograph. And as for the 13 pounds, that's probably ludicrous. The actual American bullfrog, which is indeed the largest frog in all of the United States, typically weighs no more than one and a half pounds. Even the Goliath frog that lives in Equatorial Guinea only weighs a maximum of seven pounds. In order for the bullfrog to weigh 13 pounds, it would actually have to be the size of a dog, and it obviously isn't. But still, it's a pretty big frog. Number four, mutant piglet. What is it with mutant piglets? This year has been full of pigs born with the most disturbing disfigurements. Forget the pig from earlier with three eyes, another pig has been born in China that has the face of a human. It's the most disturbing thing you're going to see all day. The piglet was born with a forehead that kind of looks like an elephant trunk. Not only that, but the local Chinese villagers claimed that the pig had a human face when it was born with the mouth of a chicken. While the strange mutations were likely caused by some kind of congenital condition, it's still an absolute horror to witness. And unlike some of the other stories we talked about today, this one is definitely real. You can see the video of this tormented beast screaming in agony after it's born. Luckily, the piglet died two days after its birth, so it didn't go on suffering for very long. Still, it makes you wonder just what they're doing in China to continuously produce freakish mutant pigs. Number three, mystery werewolf. In Argentina, a large creature has been discovered on what looks to be surveillance footage. The large creature looks to be about seven feet tall and possibly a werewolf. This happened just recently, and you can tell by the shape of the animal that it's nothing of this world. According to the residents of the province of Santa Fe where the beast was spotted, the creature had been wandering the streets for some time and has even killed two dogs. Some people are calling it a werewolf and others are claiming it's a demon. However, this is another one of those fakes. The image was actually created using some concept art from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Somebody took the concept art for a werewolf professor and then put it into this surveillance footage to make it look like a giant werewolf was terrorizing Argentina. I don't know who comes up with this stuff, but even though this picture is fake, it still creeped me out. I might even have nightmares about it tonight. Number two, ancient shrimp. Let's check out an animal more of this earth. Scientists have discovered a new shrimp species reported in the journal Nature that is one creepy beast. The ancient shrimp they discovered was fossilized about 500 million years ago and is still extinct. When alive, the shrimp had five eyes on stalks like a crab. It had spiny hooks spiking upwards from the front of its body and it was covered in armor. The fossil of the shrimp had a huge head shield, armored plating, and even more appendages running down its shell that all had claws. This newly discovered shrimp is apparently related to crabs and insects that are still living on the planet today. The ancient shrimp would eventually morph into most of the crustaceans of today, even scorpions and bees. It's not earth-shattering stuff, but a shrimp with too many eyes and claws is definitely creepy. Number one, Virginia snake worm. It doesn't get much creepier than a snake, but what about a snake that's actually a giant worm? That's even worse. In Virginia, a bizarre worm has been spotted and people don't quite know what to do. 
Images of the creature were sent to the Virginia Wildlife Management and Control Pest Service Company, with the public thinking they had found a new species of snake. But later, the thing was identified as being a hammerhead flatworm. The worm is actually native to Asia, but arrived in the United States through the plant trade many decades ago. This nightmarish worm is so horrible that it eats other worms. Insiders reported the story on this weird thing, and they claim that it's a worm that preys on earthworms. And when it's time for this creepy worm to reproduce, the hammerhead flatworm will split itself in half. Then the back half will grow into a full worm, and the top half will just kind of slither away. Number 10. Marine Hatchetfish The marine hatchetfish is perhaps the ghostliest creature in the ocean. These things have the most horrifying faces of any fish ever. In fact, they almost look like screaming people with great big eyes, or maybe they even look like ghosts. They get their name because of their hatchet shape, and they can be found throughout most of the tropical and subtropical oceans in the world. While the fish seems innocent enough when looking at it from its side, it's really their faces that leave people unnerved. They appear to be in great agony. These fish typically live in the twilight zone, just a few hundred feet beneath the surface of the water. There's still enough light in this area for their eyes to be useful, which may be why they grew to be so big. In fact, their eyes are even angled in a weird upwards position to soak in as much of the sunlight as possible. They then use the shadows of crustaceans and fish to hunt for prey. And if you're wondering why the hatchet fish is so thin, it's to help them avoid predators. Since they don't cast a very large shadow, other predators can't use their same hunting method against them. And to make these fish even creepier, they have bioluminescent photophores on their undersides that emit a cool blue light, essentially turning the fish invisible to the ghoulish twilight of the ocean. Number 9. The Horror Frog With a name like Horror Frog, you know this creature is going to be weird. There's the fact that the Horror Frog grows the most disgusting hair you've ever seen. No. Frogs are not supposed to be hairy, but there is so much more to the horror frog than simply its weird hair. According to a researcher from the Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology, horror frogs break their own bones to produce claws that puncture through their toe pads. Basically, they shatter their own bones in their hands so that the jagged pieces stick through their skin and they can use their bone claws as a defense mechanism. It's a pretty scary mechanism and not something I would suggest trying. While some frogs have bony spines to protect them from predators, the horror frog makes its own. But it's not all bad. Considering the horror frog is an amphibian, most researchers agree that it can likely heal itself and regenerate tissue after breaking its bones. And as for the weird hair that grows along its legs and onto its torso, researchers believe it helps the frog to take in more oxygen while caring for a brood of young. The frog itself is relatively rare, and they are considered somewhat of a delicacy in Cameroon, where to this day hunters still use spears and machetes to catch the frogs to eat them. They allegedly have to use spears to avoid being cut up by the frog's bony claws. Number 8. Giant Spitting Cobra You might not be surprised that this next animal exists. Everyone has heard of cobras that can spit venom into a person's face, but most of us probably haven't thought much about it. The truth is that there is a large spitting cobra living in Kenya, and it can definitely spit venom straight into your mouth and eyes. According to Wildlife Direct, the world's largest spitting cobra was discovered in Kenya in 2007. And get ready to be scared, because this creature has no business existing on Earth. The species measures 15 feet long and has the capability of spitting venom and injecting venom with its fangs. And while the venom is completely harmless if it just hits your skin, the issue is when it splashes into your eyes or gets into your mouth. If you come across one of these snakes and it spits at you, the venom could instantly cause blindness. And if the venom gets into your mouth, some of it could leak into your stomach and eventually into your bloodstream. And of course, there's always the chance that you could just get a pair of fangs into your flesh like any other snake, which of course would be very bad news. But there is some good news. All poisonous snakes are typically killed on site in East Africa. You aren't likely to run into a giant viper that can spit in your face and blind you. But still, it's frightening to know that these serpents exist. Number 7. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko is actually a real creature. And it is creepy. Poor thing can't help it. However, you may have seen a photograph circling the internet of a demonic-looking lizard with bat wings, and while the gecko is close, the Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko doesn't actually have wings. The lizard in the photograph is indeed a leaf-tailed gecko, but somebody photoshopped wings onto it. It's scary enough on its own without making it look like some kind of crazy baby dragon. 
The real leaf-tailed gecko is fascinating. It may not be able to fly, but it is a very cool little dragon. It has an extremely unique appearance and one of the best camouflage techniques in the animal kingdom. These critters live mostly in the rainforest areas of Madagascar. And even though they sometimes look like little dragons, more often than not, they actually just look like leaves. These geckos have evolved to perfectly blend into their environments, meaning that when they live in the trees, it's hard to discern between the gecko and a fallen leaf. They can change their color in response to mood and environment, just like a chameleon. If you're wondering why such an innocent gecko got such a horrendous name, it's exactly because the biologist who found it, George Bullinger, was just as shocked as you are by its demonic red eyes. In any case, this is definitely the coolest gecko on the planet. Number 6. Lobster Moth Caterpillar The Lobster Moth Caterpillar is perhaps the ugliest caterpillar you've ever seen. The Lobster Moth itself is actually quite normal. It just looks like any large moth with its white and grey wings and fuzzy body. It's the caterpillar that doesn't look like it should exist. It's not dangerous, it's just unusual and a little scary to look at. It's like a weird mix between a lobster, a caterpillar and a scorpion. Take everything you know about garden variety caterpillars and throw it all out the window. The lobster moth caterpillar is unusual in that it mimics the behavior of an ant or a spider to ward off predators. They have extremely long legs on their thorax that constantly twist about like a spider's legs. And if you thought this horrifying monster caterpillar was something that only lives in the deep jungles of the Amazon, you were wrong. The lobster moth caterpillar is actually distributed all throughout Great Britain. This is a caterpillar that any English person might find hanging out on the leaves of their garden. The most obvious comparison is that it looks like a lobster. And even though it's not dangerous to you, the caterpillar is able to shoot a type of formic acid, which is normally something only found in ant venom as a defense against predators. Number five, bear cat. Just take one look at the bear cat and decide whether it's a cat or a bear. You can't, it's literally impossible. The creature definitely has the lazy attitude and thin whiskers of a cat, but it has the shaggy black hair of a small bear. The only way you would be right is if you guessed neither. The bear cat is not a bear or a cat. It actually belongs to the civet and mongoose family, though it certainly doesn't look like any mongoose I've ever seen. The bear cat is something that should be stuck in a fantasy book, but instead it really does live among us, spending most of its time relaxing in the trees, foraging for fruit on branches, and acting a lot like a lazy sloth. These creatures lurk primarily in South Asia and Southeast Asia, and they are considered at risk by the IUCN. But if you thought a mongoose that looks like a cross between a bear and a cat was weird already, wait until you hear about the distinctive odor of the bear cat. It's one of the only animals in the world that gives off a scent like hot popcorn. How did evolution come up with that? Oh yeah, and even though it's weird, the bear cat is still ridiculously adorable. They can live for at least 17 years in captivity and grow to be roughly three feet long. As for those adorable whiskers on the front of its face, it uses them to feel its way around in the dark while it forages for something to eat. These are night hunting creatures and can typically only be spotted when the sun goes down. Number four, wolf trap anglerfish. Everyone's familiar with the anglerfish. We all know about the horrifying deep sea monster with the glowing fishing rod attached to its head so that it can trick prey into swimming into its jaws. But if you thought the standard anglerfish was a freak of nature, just take a look at the wolf trap anglerfish. This thing literally has a fishing rod growing out of its forehead. It's also horrifying to look at. Their jaws are enormous, just like any other anglerfish, but it's the color that really makes a person's hair stand on end. The wolf trap anglerfish looks like a demonic monster that should be in another dimension rather than swimming around in the Earth's oceans. As for that lure dangling off the fishing rod inserted into its forehead, it's probably known as an esker, which is a bioluminescent appendage type deal with a hook on it. This has led researchers to speculation over how exactly the fish uses the bait. Some scientists think it casts the lure forward to entice fish to get near it, and this could be right. Not many studies have been done regarding this bizarre fish. Other than being horribly ugly, the other big difference between the wolf trap anglerfish and other anglerfish is that it lives in part of the ocean known as the abyss, about 13,000 feet below the surface. Other anglerfish typically live in the twilight zone or the midnight zone, up to only 6,600 feet. Number three, thorny devil. This is thorny devil, a small Australian lizard completely covered in thorns. It almost looks like a walking thorn bush. The lizard lives in the dry scrublands and deserts of most of the country, and its entire body is covered in spikes and scales to ward off predators. And while this isn't actually that shocking for a lizard, the real oddity here is that the thorny devil has a false head located at the back of its neck. Through all the years of evolution, 
This lizard has actually grown a redundant head on its neck that it can show to predators when under attack. The logic here is that the lizard will hide its true head while its predator bites off the fake head. It's basically the lizard equivalent of having a decoy wallet so that you don't get robbed. Luckily, the thorny devil is not under any threat of extinction. According to the IUCN, it's labelled under least concern. This means you might even stumble upon one of these small spiky monsters on your next trip to the Australian desert. But then again, maybe not. The lizard can run faster than humans can, so good luck catching it. Number 2. Mantis Shrimp This has to be one of the most boggling crustaceans ever found in the ocean. Scientists often refer to the mantis shrimp as a super shrimp, and it's perhaps the most effective death machine living under the water. Even though the mantis shrimp is only 4 inches long, and colourfully ugly with big bulging eyes and a strange orange body, it's outrageously strong. Pound for pound, it's one of the strongest animals in the world. And here's where it gets crazy. Rather than snatching prey with fangs or claws, the mantis shrimp punches its meal into submission. The mantis shrimp has clubs attached to its body that it uses for punching its prey, hitting with a force from a 2 2 calibre handgun bullet. That's how strong this little shrimp is. It can literally shatter the shells of crabs and clams with one punch. It's like the one punch shrimp. Even when scientists are capturing mantis shrimps to study, they have to bring specialised plastic tanks because the shrimps are so strong they can punch their way out of glass tanks. And here's how the punch works. The shrimp's club mechanism is spring-loaded, kind of like a crossbow. When they release their club, it accelerates at 50 miles per hour and hits with a massive force of over 2,500 times the weight of the shrimp. So yeah, the strangely colourful mantis shrimp is definitely a spectacular super being. Number 1. Raccoon Dogs Now here's something cute and unbelievable, yet a little disturbing. It's another hybrid species, the Raccoon Dog. According to the BBC, Raccoon dogs recently terrorised a small village in the United Kingdom, attacking goats, knocking things over, and causing general mayhem. But kind of like the bear cat, the raccoon dog is not a raccoon or a dog. It's actually part of the canid family, most closely related to a fox or a badger. Apparently, raccoon dogs were first introduced into Europe from Asia as part of the fur trade. They were also traded as exotic pets because of their cuddly appearance. However, this is likely a bad idea, as raccoon dogs can be extremely vicious. Luckily, they're too small to cause any serious damage. They are now mostly pests that eat garbage and attack livestock throughout parts of Europe. Number 10. Titanoboa Out of all the terrifying creatures you're glad don't exist anymore, the Titanoboa is probably at the top of the list. Nobody likes snakes in the first place, and nobody wants a snake the size of a school bus slithering around their neighbourhood. This is not an animal you would have wanted to encounter in the Amazon jungle millions of years ago. This thing was at least 45 feet long and weighed as much as a small car. According to a vertebrate paleontologist from the Florida Museum, the Titanoboa was as long as the largest T-Rex ever found, which is currently on display at Chicago's Field Museum. The first bones of the Titanoboa were found in Colombia by a team of international researchers. When looking at the fossilised vertebrae on the Titanoboa compared to a modern anaconda, the difference is shocking. The snake's body was so wide that if it somehow made it into your house, it would have to force its way through your door frame. It would hardly even fit. Luckily, the snake lived only for about 10 million years following the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years before today. It would have existed at the same time as turtles that were 10 feet in diameter and crocodiles that would make you scream in terror. What's really interesting about the Titanoboa is that because of its gigantic dimensions, scientists believe that temperatures near the equator were significantly higher millions of years ago. This contributed to the ordinary animals we know today being grossly larger than they are now. Number 9. The Helicoprion The Helicoprion is something out of a horror movie. It's half shark, half saw blade, and anyone who loves to swim in the ocean should be thankful that this creature no longer exists. While its exact size is unknown, most scientists place it at being roughly 21 feet long. Some specimens have been found smaller, and so the size may vary depending on the age and the species. This horrifying creature would have lived all over the globe from the Permian era, all throughout the Triassic, and it's best known for its tooth whirl, which is what truly makes the Helicoprion a monster. Basically, the tooth whirl was a saw blade in the shark's mouth. It's unlike anything that exists today. Rather than having a mouth of serrated teeth like the great white shark, this shark had its teeth arranged in a spiral. 
When eating prey, the teeth would have acted like a saw blade, crushing up the hard shells of ammonites and shoveling more food into the beast's face. However, it was not always known how exactly the tooth wall worked. When the fossilized teeth of the helicoprion were first discovered in the early 1900s, scientists initially thought it was either on the tail or on the dorsal fin. It wasn't until 2013 that a study was released claiming the world to be located within the lower jaw. Fortunately for everyone on Earth, no such tooth whirl exists today. It must have been a failed evolutionary experiment. Number 8. Terror Birds Humans give themselves a little too much credit. After all, we've really only been shaping the world for a few thousand years, give or take. That's absolutely nothing compared to the reign of the terror birds that literally terrorized the Earth for about 60 million years. According to the BBC, during those 60 million years, 17 species of giant terrifying birds came and went, all the while eating every animal in sight. They basically replaced the Velociraptor and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. After the comet killed the dinosaurs, some of the first new giant predators were the terror birds, and they actually ruled most of the Earth until about two and a half million years ago. If you've ever seen an emu or a cassowary, imagine the same thing, only bigger and scarier. These birds would have been able to break into your house and eat you. However, there are very few fossils to document their existence. Paleontologists have known about the creatures for about 100 years, but they have yet to learn much about how they operated as dominant predators or what happens to them. They would have existed most recently in a time when Central America didn't exist and South America was only an island, with the rest of the world taken over by saber-toothed cats and direwolves. One of the more famous of the terror birds was something known as Andalgalornis. Scientists are still unsure how large the bird was exactly, but it definitely had a massive head with an extremely strong beak that it could use to bite through skull, or strike another animal down with quick blows, kind of like getting hit in the head with a massive sledgehammer. Number 7. Ancient Dragonflies Believe it or not, the largest insect that ever existed was a distant relative to a dragonfly. This creature is named Meganeuropsis, and it ruled the skies way before birds or bats ever came to life. It also lived before the dawn of the dinosaurs. These ancient dragonflies lasted during the Artkinsian Age, which was around 285 million years ago. Fossils of the enormous insect were first described in 1939. The original description was based on incomplete fossil wings found in Kansas. So far as we know, the ancient dragonflies would have had a wingspan of about 30 inches. That is significantly larger than any buzzing insect flying around today. Imagine a dragonfly more than two feet long trying to ruin your picnic. If you can't picture that, it's like if your cat grew wings and turned into a bug. Researchers believe the reason the original dragonflies got so large is because there was such a higher oxygen content in the atmosphere back then. During the Carboniferous period, there was a huge influx in global oxygen levels, and this encouraged wild amounts of growth all throughout the world, including with insects and trees. And considering this was a time before very large carnivores, the world was mostly ruled by giant dragonflies, disturbing fish, primitive sharks, amphibians, and even reptiles. However, the ancient dragonfly as well as all those other animals died out at the end of the Permian period, with the great extinction that wiped out over 90% of all life on the planet. Number 6. Megacroc As you can probably guess judging by the rest of the creatures in this video, there was indeed a mega crocodile. It existed in the Cretaceous period. Just like there were giant bugs and giant snakes, there was also a giant crocodile. Its proper name is Sarcosuchus, and it's an extinct type of crocodilian. It would have lived throughout Africa and South America, and was significantly bigger than any modern saltwater crocodile. In comparison, the mega croc could grow to be roughly 31 feet in length, while a saltwater crocodile today can only grow to be around 21 feet in length. The older crocodile had a very long snout, telescoped eyes, and at least 35 teeth in each side of its upper jaw. In fact, the jaws of the mega crocodile more closely resemble the jaws of a gharial, only larger and meaner. Most scientists believe that Sarcosuchus would have had a diet that consisted of fish, other crocodilians, and even dinosaurs. Just like a modern-day crocodile, this beast would have been an apex predator, and it would have ruled the swampy regions where it lived. Thankfully, these toothy reptiles are no longer stalking through the Florida Everglades. Number 5. Ratzilla We've seen a prehistoric crocodile that can eat dinosaurs. Now it's time to look at a prehistoric rat that could eat crocodiles. Believe it or not, three million years ago in South America, there was a rodent the size of a bison. That's right, there was once a rat the size of a cow. If that's not terrifying enough, this monster of a rodent likely had teeth comparable to elephant tusks. 
It was the largest rodent that ever existed. And according to Science Magazine, scientists recently used a CT scanner to take a detailed imprint of the rodent's skull to try and find out just how fierce its bite force was. Simulations showed that Ratzilla could bite with 4,165 newtons. In other words, the rat had a bite force three times higher than a tiger or a medium-sized crocodile. Obviously, it's great that Ratzilla no longer exists. The researchers who published the original study of the monster rodent's teeth also claimed that its two front teeth were strong enough to take the stress produced by three times the amount of their bite force. This essentially means that the rodents could have used its teeth to dig roots, to bite through the leg of a T-Rex, or to fight others for territory. Number 4. Mega Piranha The Mega Piranha was almost the size of a person. If you were scared to get into the water before because of a potential piranha attack, imagine having to contend with fleets of giant fish with razor teeth that were way bigger than the ones today. The Mega Piranha lived during the Miocene period, roughly 8 to 10 million years ago. The only currently known fossils of this terrifying fish were a few teeth found from an upper jaw. There simply have not been enough fossils found to construct a full picture of this animal's behavior or what it looks like. However, scientists have said that assuming the Mega Piranha had a similar body to those living today, it would have been about 3 feet in length. However, it may not have been a ferocious carnivore like today's piranhas. The ancient Mega Piranha would have been a type of omnivore. The few teeth that were found suggested a similarity between both piranha teeth and paku teeth, meaning the fish could have eaten flesh or plants. Number 3. Hast's Eagle Eagles are scary enough as they are today. If you happen to live in an area populated with lots of eagles, you know how dangerous it is to leave your feline friend outside alone, and you probably know how anxious you can get just letting a small dog go to the bathroom outside. Eagles are notorious for collecting dog collars and cat collars in their nests. Not only can an eagle scoop up your pet, but an eagle can even scoop up your baby if given a chance. But today's eagles are nothing compared to the Hast's eagle, which lived in New Zealand and only went extinct in the 1400s. It's a relatively new extinction which came about after the Maori settled on the South Island of New Zealand and began to kill wildlife. This eagle was powerful enough that it could take on the biggest flightless birds of the day, like the moa or the emu. The Hust's eagle was essentially a dragon that would swoop down from the sky and kill whatever it wanted, then fly back to its nest. It had a wingspan of roughly 9 feet and could swoop at 50 miles per hour. Imagine razor-sharp talons flying at your face at 50 miles per hour. It's pretty much like being hit by a bullet. Most scientists agree that the Hust's eagle and the moa evolved because of island gigantism, a strange phenomenon in which animals isolated from other populations on an island end up growing way larger than they would otherwise. But of course, the Maori arrived in the 1400s and hunted everything to extinction. Number 2. The Prehistoric Vulture Many scientists believe that the Argentavis was the largest flying bird that ever existed. The Hust's eagle was definitely a recent monster but the Argentavis was a prehistoric vulture with a wingspan of up to 26 feet. At least, that is what some scientists have guessed. To put that into perspective, its wingspan could have been about the same length as the largest snake in the world today. Just think about the size of that bird for two seconds. It would block out the sun when it flew over your house. This thing could probably tackle a small airplane out of the sky. It's not something anyone would want flying around their neighborhood, stealing people out for a morning jog. This species of bird stood about the height of an average person. It had strong legs and large feet, with a large bill that had a hooked tip for scooping out guts. It also weighed roughly 180 pounds, and would have controlled a large territory for hunting. But even though the bird was so large, it was probably like a modern vulture in that it preferred to scavenge for carrion. Because of its monstrous size and its horrifying appearance, it likely chased other carnivores away from their kills and then finished their meals for them. Number 1. Giant Ocean Scorpion Finishing off the video today is a creature that makes my skin crawl, even though it lived 467 million years ago. This creature was a scorpion that lived underwater and was the same size as a person. This is like something out of your worst nightmare, or a B-rated horror movie. The scorpion was literally the size of a person. It is also one of the most ancient ancestors of modern spiders and lobsters, because lobsters are basically underwater scorpions anyway. Fossils of the animal were most recently discovered in Iowa by geologists with the Iowa Geological Survey at the University of Iowa way back in 2010. Researchers claim that the giant ocean scorpion, also known as the Pentacopterus, would have grown to be 6 feet in length with a long head, a narrow body, and large limbs that it used for trapping prey. Just imagine meeting one of these things underwater. In fact, if there were 6 foot long scorpions skulking around the bottom of the sea, it's pretty much a guarantee that nobody would ever go diving again. 
Which of these extinct monsters do you think was the most terrifying? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for coming. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and come back soon.